Hello everybody, Newtastic here. Today I'm in the pit of Saron, farming the Battered Hilt. Alright, my farm pattern is uh, pretty easy. You just uh, flow to the right, kind of grab the guys in the middle right off the ramp, and then you uh, go proceed up to the hill, up and around. I've uh, inserted uh, a small map to show you it. It's the same path every time. Now the uh, battered hilt is uh, this is a true farm. Um, I got my first battered hilt on uh, my 18th clear, and my second one on the 32nd clear. But I heard it can take as many as 30 clears to get your first one. So the other day, I saw this selling in trade chat for 35 grand. I thought to myself, hey, let's go see how easy this is to farm up and if it's really worth the 35 grand or if uh, that was just a ripoff. So I checked many servers and the global price for this is somewhere about, uh, say, 12 to 13 grand and up on some servers as much as 15, 60 grand. No, I suspect those are servers where they don't have a lot of people who are either willing or capable of farming it. I guess they'd be willing to farm it. Now on the two main servers I play on, one of them is selling about 20 to 25 grand. The other server, however, is selling in the high 30s, low 40s. So I'm anxious to uh, try to see if I can sell sell one of the ones I got. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna run the quest line on one of them for a video. But for the other one, I'm definitely gonna see how, try to sell it and record how long it took to sell and, and what price I ended up getting out of it. Now, if you noticed on this, uh, this route I'm running here in the background, I pulled too far close to the boss over there in the corner so the first ads I first grabbed in the initially, they all reset on me. So I had to uh, re-grab them all. Just make sure when you go up close to that that second boss over there in the corner, with the by the ghouls, that you uh, you don't have to go too close to him, or these ads, these first initial ads you get, will uh, reset on you. Now uh, a full run takes about two minutes, so. Uh, 20 minutes or so you can earn between uh, it seemed like six to eight grand worth of trash drops and and loot and gold so I mean it's not it's not terrible it's not terrible but it's not really great e where you make your money is when you get the hill right there I just got it bam right there is a, a minimum of 15 grand in my eyes. Got to be happy when you get one. I mean, uh, I really didn't farm this extensively. I did, uh, I'd run 10 runs until I was locked out for a 10 run period for an hour. Then I would go do some other stuff and I would come back and run some more. And, uh, it's really an easy farm. Um, you could clear out all the ads in, in, in this instance, but uh, I don't feel it's, it's really really needed. Where the route I'm running, you're pulling all the ads, I mean, the largest portion of ads without with the least amount of effort. You could pull these all up at one time and just, just kill them down. It, it, it really goes quick. Now, uh, the Battered Hilt starts a nice quest line to get, uh, most people think, the Quill Delar sword. But there are actually seven different, se excuse me, seven different swords that come from this quest line. Now, four of them swords look identical. There's the, the top uh, left one here is the Quill Delar. There are two versions of that. They both sheath on your back, so basically there's just one version. Then the middle photo on the top is the the hammer of purified flame. It was originally an Illalek weapon, and then the top uh, right one 
is the Kludge of Furious Justice. It's a mace, a one-handed mace. So it's nice. The bottom one is the bottom left one was an agility weapon. That is uh, the Lightborn Spire. And the bottom right one is the two-handed version of the Cool Delar. Now, these are all just transmog weapons now, so you would uh, get whatever you like, but if you, uh, you know, if you're one of those classes that can get, you know, equip an agility weapon or a mace, then there you can, more than just the strength classes who you see going after this can actually be farming it up. Of all the farm videos I've done so far, this is by far the least stressful, the easiest, uh, there was no thinking to this. This one was just easy, you know, let's go. That was it. I just, you know, it was a very easy one to go. You can easily, you know, park a tune outside this and do it. And if you're on a server war that's a real high population when they sell fast, you know, even if you're selling it for 10, 15 grand, that's still very easy to go on top of all the, uh, the cloth and, and transmog stuff you get out of here. You know, um, as far as the transmog stuff, uh, a lot of the gear that I got out of here, I just disenchanted into mats and, and sold the mats because uh, they weren't very appealing transmog items, and I didn't think they'd sell. But uh, everything, you know, enchanting mats always sell, so that was not a big deal. But this has been my guide on farming the. Battered Hill inside the Pit of Saron. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, tell me what other farm videos you might be interested in seeing, and I'll see what I can do about that. Alright, have a good day, and everybody, <laughs> everybody have a good day.